Introducing the Autonomous Aggie Shuttle, the most interesting vehicle around and a testbed for research and development of self-driving functionalities developed by researchers at North Carolina A&T State University. North Carolina A&T State University is on the front line of research for development of autonomous vehicles. So many researchers, talented students that we have in the university, that is true, but also beyond that, this happened because we have a great support from the university administration, from the city, the state and federal level sponsors and industrial partners that all help uh, to make this happen now having one of the first fleet of autonomous vehicles in terms of public transportation and self-driving shuttles and one of the first AV rural test track that can allow us to test very advanced technologies in these great facilities that we have here. These shuttles demonstrate the capability of North Carolina a and to serve the whole community, including rural areas. The autonomous Aggie shuttles are tested on the nation's first rural AV test track for connected and autonomous vehicles, a two-mile loop around Gateway Research Park's North Campus. The track allows researchers to test different functions of the vehicle before deploying them on public streets. The track has segments that simulate rural terrain, as well as other features like narrow and curvy roads, steep hills, canopy roads, bus stops, bike lanes, pedestrian crossings, and more. Parts of the track have little or no GPS coverage. It's more challenging for an autonomous car to handle such situations than, say, a cityscape with level roads, traffic lights, and predictable 90-degree turns. I think the biggest benefit for autonomous vehicles at A&T is definitely getting the students involved, getting them to apply their theoretical knowledge to something physical. It's very difficult, but also very rewarding. Because in theory, you know most things work out, but when you actually try to apply it to something physical and let it interact with the real world, things get very complicated. And learning from that gets them to see the bigger picture of what they're studying for. A&T State University gives me the opportunity as a researcher to test software developments that I usually do in simulation environments on real uh, vehicles and test tracks. And that is an improvement in my career because I can test those solutions on uh, real environments. These vehicles feature three types of sensors, two cameras above the windshield and oriented to the front, one radar sensor on the front bumper, and one LiDAR sensor on the roof. This combination allows the vehicle to perceive everything on the road and collect the information that it needs to drive safely. A drive-by-wire system allows the computer to send commands to the vehicle for steering, braking, accelerating, and changing gears, while also passing back data on the vehicle's current state. We use a combination of GPS and LiDAR to help understand where the vehicle is in the world with accuracy down to the centimeter. These technologies are key to helping us center ourselves in the lane and to also know the location of upcoming traffic signs or street lights, which we can view on our high definition map. Think of the perception system as the eyes of the car. Processing data from cameras, radar, and LiDAR to identify where other vehicles and pedestrians are in the 3D space around the vehicle. Using artificial intelligence and advanced computer processors, we process and perceive the area around the vehicle in real time. The vehicle is able to estimate the location and speed of other vehicles, and this information is used to avoid collisions by employing behavioral and planning techniques. If an object appears to be in the vehicle's path, the autonomous system can react by reducing speed or stopping the vehicle altogether. Soon we're going to deploy these vehicles to connect the university campus to the downtown Greensboro. And it is, it is interesting to see that even though they are not that far, they are considered to be disconnected. And, and now having these vehicles to connect downtown Greensboro and uh, the university, so that's bringing so much excitement to the community. This project would not be possible without our sponsors, including the National Science Foundation, the Federal Highway Administration, the North Carolina Department of Transportation, Downtown Greensboro Incorporated, the Greensboro Department of Transportation, and multiple industry partners. These shuttles now expand the capabilities of North Carolina in testing and developing self-driving vehicles and advanced transportation technologies, which will continue to enhance our university's leadership in this space. Stay tuned for new developments in autonomy at a and in the months and years ahead.